Okay. All right, so we, um, we kind of spoiled a little bit, uh, but we thought it might be a good idea to get you prepped on, on the idea. Um, so today we are going to talk briefly about the concept of a working group for, for DNOC and why do we think we need it and why you should join, of course. We could also look at this as the first gathering of the working group, which would make it very successful. Uh, but we could argue about that. But first, uh, let me introduce you to Fiona. So uh, next, maybe we could click on the next slide. Yeah, so um, firstly, Fiona, amazing network engineer and SRE, working for Webcom and InfraRun, and also serving the community by um, being in the board of the DNOC. Um, yeah, my name is Vincent. Uh, you may know me like from, from other occurrences. I work for Interlink, which is of course like the main sponsor. So if you don't know what we do, um, please visit our booth. And I'm also on the BKX um, advisory board serving the community. So yeah, let's go on. Um, so what's over the time, a lot of great content has been produced in form of talks and workshops and materials, but we think like at some point it totally makes sense to um, have this as a constant effort because a lot of talks are not recorded and not only talking about DNOC, um, slides won't get updated. So I don't know about you, but when you already had a talk, are you updating the slides for errors, suggestions? I guess only if you're really giving that talk again, of course. Um, slides can also vanish from the internet. And people also just forget about it, right? So and it's hard to find stuff. You not even know that, you are, that, that it's there. So for new people, this is hard sometimes. So um, best practices are also changing. So you're reading stuff from a couple of years ago, and it might just not be the best practice for now anymore. Next one. So that's why we believe it's a great reason to uh, form a working group for routing, which is one of the core, I think, um, areas of concerns, technically speaking, for the DNOC under the DNOC umbrella as well. What's the overall goal? Of course, it should serve the greater good for having a more stable, more secure, and of course, more sustainable place for everyone. And how do we are going to do that? So first is bringing the people together, which we think why DNOC is perfect for that, because that's already happening, but also setting goals for ourselves, because let's face it, just getting, like making a party, a conference, etc., won't like get this off the ground. So we think it's very important to publish um, best practices in forms of um, yeah, papers, uh, guides we can basically use with a lot of configuration examples uh, to give newcomers a head start, but also veterans an additional reference for their implementation. Next one. And how do we are going to organize this? So once a Dino conference uh, and once a remote um, meet up to get things done. Also the idea is to have a hackathon um, because let's face it, nobody really has time these days. And that's why we think to get this one day get shit done uh, sprint uh, to yeah, get things done in the uh, repository. We want to have two chairs elected to have yeah, to um, which observe like and make sure that the meetings happen and the PR reviews uh, happen in a timely fashion and also giving like updates at DNOC, for example. Yeah, so um, orga discussions are, and announcement can happen like on the mailing list, but we really want to shift away from the mailing list in terms of technical discussions, PRs, reviews, changes, etc. So we want that to happen in the Git repository. And now handing over to Fiona for Roadmap. Yeah, so what have we planned? Uh, currently the first two chapters we want to implement is carrier design basics and guidelines and a BGP filter guide, an extensive BGP filtering guide. We have some more ideas like a forwarding filter guide, so implementing BCP38 and stuff like that, and a control plane filtering guide. Um, if you have some more ideas or if you have some topics where you wish there were, were more uh, material about, let us know and we are also open for contributions, of course. So join us or... Ah, yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. 
Um, we want to implement multiple context snippets for multiple platforms in our guides. Currently, we are working on iOS and Junos, since those are like the most common platforms right now. But if you are using a different platform and you have experience with implementing these kind of things, then let us know. We need help and not only to write these, but also to review these and maybe test them in a lab. Um, you don't have to be a member to contribute, so we are working openly on GitHub and you can create issues if there is something wrong, you can submit patches and um, we want to be as transparent as possible with our work and with our technical discussions. Yeah, next. Uh, this is what it looks like. The GitHub repository is public since a few minutes ago um, and it's automatically deploying to the website on routing.dnoc.de. So the website is always the current state of the merged, um, yeah, what of, of our merged PRs and um, reviews happen in PRs. Um, if you want to join us, we have set up a mailing list, but we have, haven't really finished setting it up. Um, Google Groups is hard. I haven't I, I spent like an hour looking for the button to publish it, to let people join um, who are not part of the organization, but it's hard. So uh, for now, send us an email, so fiona at dnoc.de or vincent at dnoc.de, or just come and talk to us. You can recognize me by my cat ears and Vincent by his hat. Yeah. And also, uh, just one thing, we know that quite a few very skilled uh, engineers are here today, so we would, re and we know you. So and we will find you. And we are really looking forward to your contribution in one way or another, so. There's no way to hide. Yes, you can try, though. Thanks to you, too. We already have one question from Wolfgang. Yeah, um, I think this is a good idea, but <laughs> uh, there are a million of BCP guides out there. RIPE already has a working group for routing, but what is really missing in the world is a German language best practice guide. There are people newly entering the industry, there are enterprises entering the routing world, there are uh, Berufsschule with people with not an excellent grasp of English. So I think what's really, really missing is German in German language best practice guide. So perhaps that's an idea where we can go further. Okay, um, yeah, uh, it's, we think it, we want to lower the barrier to access those information and we are aware of the RIPE uh, working group about routing. Uh, some others may, may not, they may start here. And so, and we will also be focused on getting like actual config snippets as down to hands-on as possible for most platforms. So, um, yeah, there are guides. Some of them are, maintain, are well maintained, some not. And um, having this in German is a very good suggestion. So thank you for that, Wolfgang. Hi, I'm Max. I love BGP too. Um, with the hats <laughs> on of the Frostcore network track, which I started 2018. Uh, response to Wolfgang, there is my first dot network, which has a lot of German speaking stuff from basics to OSPF, BGP, fabrics, yada, 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 which uh, we did at Frostcon. Um, I think this is a splendid idea, and I'm happy to join. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any more questions? Sport! <laughs> Do you plan on collaborating with the NLNOC routing filter guide, which is excellent? Uh, yeah, we had a look at that, and uh, NLNOC is really, um, I guess, a leading example for the community in, in lots of regards. Um, and yeah, it may make sense co to collaborate, um, but we also think we have something to contribute within the DNOC community, and maybe it can be adapted to be a like a wider, bigger thing at some point, but first we want to get it started, so. Thank you. 
Any more questions? Or do we have any questions on the internet? No, we don't. Then thanks a lot to you too. Thank you.